I don't think, as far as a screen image goes, there is anyone as sexy as this world. It was just something that, that he was born with. And the cameras loved him. God, he was gorgeous. But everybody thought he was gorgeous. It wasn't just me. Men and women alike, it was just... Baby. Elvis Presley wasn't only the king of rock and roll. In the 50s and 60s, he was also the king of the silver screen. With a few exceptions, the formula for the Elvis movies was pretty much the same. A few songs. When a motor's war, and she's purring sweet. A little comedy. And chocolate mousse. Chocolate mousse. Without the antlers and dozens of babes in bikinis. And through them all, the king cast his sexy spell on some of Hollywood's most alluring young starlets. With most of them, the romance stopped when the director called cut. We were buddies because when I met Elvis, I was married, and uh, we were always just very good friends. Elvis was very sensitive about uh, who a person was and what they needed. And um, so I was very shy, and he treated me like a princess he treated me with such care like i was a hothouse flower i am 19 years old and i'm, I'm kind of well built yep i know that too and i'm glad of it but I some leading ladies uh, found elvis just as irresistible off screen like that follow that dream co-star ann helm enjoyed a location romance with elvis it's kind of sweet i can talk about it now because i'm an old lady uh, but I did. I fell in love with him. I just thought he was the best. Doesn't everybody want to fall in love? We we just had a lovely romance, and it was sweet and tender. It wouldn't change it for a moment. You know, like coming back was very hard, but um, because we came back to all the fanfare and the the crazy ladies, and um, no, it was different. <laughs> <laughs> The last scene in the film that we did, he sang a uh, song called Angel to me. And we were really saying goodbye in life, in our personal life. You know, our relationship was sort of ending and we were becoming friends. So it was my farewell scene to Elvis in a way. Deborah Wally's friendship with Elvis explored a side of him that few saw. We were not uh, lovers, we were friends and spiritual partners. Elvis was my teacher. Spiritually, he introduced me to a whole way of looking at life. He started me out on a spiritual path that I've been on ever since. Friend, lover, teacher, Elvis was many things to many women. But one thing all his leading ladies shared was their admiration for his talent and for the animal magnetism that drove women wild. He had that quality that it was a fascination. You couldn't look away from him. But on stage, he was this, he turned into this animal, and he was wonderful, wonderful. He's an artist. Elvis was an artist. Long after their on-screen liaisons with the king, Elvis's co-stars remember him fondly as charming, fun-loving, and professional. But what everyone really wants to know after all these years is... Oh, what was it like to kiss Elvis Presley? It was neat. <laughs> he's, a good, he's a good kisser. It was nice to be kissing someone that you liked and doing romantic scenes with someone that you liked. And then you could both back away from it and laugh. It was a little simple, innocent kiss, so I don't know how he really kissed. I would imagine he could kiss pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's kissed real good. <laughs> And more than that, too. <laughs> the Magic of Elvis on the home of the Hollywood stars, TNT.